Hello everyone! I am so excited about today's video. I've been wanting to talk about this for a very long time, but I'm a person who kind of likes to wait until the feeling feels right. It didn't feel right until now to make this video, so now I am making it. <laughs> so yeah, in this video, I'm just going to be getting ready with you guys. I'm doing my makeup for this event that I'm going to later, and I'm going to be giving you guys a step-by-step -step guide on how you can also become the woman, man, person that you want to be. Personally, I didn't think that I could achieve that or I didn't think that I could be this ideal woman, but I can and I am and that's what I'm working towards now and that's who I am becoming. But first, I'm going to be touching on a lot of heavy subjects. I'm going to be talking about a lot of healing and a lot of mental health related things. So I am happy to say that today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. Today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp in honor of Mental Health Awareness Month. Hello guys, if you didn't know, May is Mental Health Awareness Month. This is a month to raise awareness, fight stigma, and provide support for anybody struggling with their mental health, which seems to be like all of us right now. <laughs> this year's theme is Together for Mental Health. Basically, people are just gonna be sharing their stories in hopes to encourage others to prioritize their mental health. For me, if I don't prioritize my mental health, I am truly a mess, like literally a mess. I need to keep myself in check, I need to keep my mental health good, and I need to, you know, have my weekly therapy sessions, talk to somebody, learn techniques on how to cope. I'm just a huge advocate for people getting their mental health in check. I think that it just makes you feel better as a person, and also it helps all of your relationships and situations in life, so I just think it's overall a great thing. <laughs> Another big theme of Mental Health Awareness Month is advocating for mental health care, which perfectly falls in line with BetterHelp. If you haven't heard of BetterHelp yet, you must be new here. They offer customized online therapy with either video, phone, or even live chat sessions. So you don't even have to see anybody on camera if you don't want to. And you can also do it from your house, which feels very comfy cozy. <laughs> BetterHelp is also more affordable than traditional therapy, and they have financial aid. You can apply during the sign-up process, and they also accept HSA benefits. BetterHelp has over 20,000 therapists so there is a broad range of expertise in there and that actually gives you access to help that might not be in your area. All you have to do is figure out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs and you will be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Then you can schedule your secure video or phone sessions and also anything that you chat with them is confidential and you can send unlimited messages if you would like. I actually use BetterHelp Weekly and my therapist kind of is on me when I don't check in with her with the messages. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes she like comes on at my session and she's like, um, Emily, you did not chat with me this week. What's up? So now we chat. <laughs> So yeah, you can really form like a cool bond with your therapist. And if you're not, you can change your therapist very easily. All you have to do is request a new therapist at any time for no additional charge and you'll be matched with a new one. So yeah, this is Mental Health Awareness Month. So if you are somebody that you know is struggling, let them know about BetterHelp. It could be a really good option. And I actually have a link for 10% off your first month. You can go to betterhelp.com slash Emily Lee. That is betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Emily Lee. So yeah, thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this portion of the video. Let's get back to our regularly scheduled programming. Okay, hi guys, we are back. What's good? So you know, journeys like this have to always start somewhere, right? It's like you don't just wake up one day and become the person that you've always dreamt of. You're not just gonna wake up one day and everything is gonna magically be solved and situated. It takes hard work, you know? But as I said, I have a handy guide for you guys, which I'm gonna be sharing and also talking about my experiences. Step one, we need to get our self-love and our confidence in check. We need to feel good about ourselves and love ourselves and this takes a lot of work. This takes a lot of energy and a lot of healing and a lot of just like figuring out why you don't like certain parts of yourself, you know? I feel like I have been on this specific journey for the past year, maybe? I'm still not done with the journey, of course, but I do feel like it's started last year and where self-confidence and self-love and stuff like that came into play is like I was in a very toxic situation that kind of made me lose myself for a lot of years so just finding myself again and expressing myself through fashion and hair and makeup and even just like finding my interests again like that 
helped me become more confident and just like truly figuring out like who you are as a person will help you love yourself more also i feel like you have to be very forgiving like you can't be so hard on yourself it's so important to be gentle and to be honest going on this journey of becoming this ideal version of yourself you're gonna need the confidence to do these next steps like confidence and loving yourself is definitely the first step and i'm not even saying you have to like be fully in love with yourself and like confident to the like hundredth degree you just need to be confident enough to stand up for yourself and make hard decisions and get uncomfortable you know and it doesn't even have to be overnight as i said this is a slow journey i feel like it took me like an entire year to just do that first step like i feel like that is the hardest step to be honest after that i think things came a little more easy to me but i do think that you need to be very sure of yourself not that you need to think that like you're the best person ever but it's more so you need to come to terms with the fact that one you're not perfect and two you're bad at some things or you have bad habits or you have toxic behaviors and it's important to acknowledge those things so that you can work on getting better at them but truthfully that might be the hardest stuff so do not rush it take your time and again as i said you just need enough confidence to keep going on the journey that's it you don't need to be the most confident person ever you just need like a little push you know next thing is to get out of any toxic situations or uncomfortable situations basically anything that's gonna hinder your growth and your journey to be the best version of yourself and to love yourself fully we do not need to be around them anymore there's absolutely no reason why people need to have that access to you if they are not making you feel good and i think that like sometimes we put others in front of ourselves it's easy to be caught up in you know it could be like love in a toxic relationship where you just have so much love for them that you don't even realize that it's like so toxic or like so unhealthy you don't realize it's actually bad for you because it's like love but these things aren't good these situations aren't good where you're just feeling bad about yourself when leaving a person how you feel is very important so after hanging out with somebody take note on the emotions that you feel afterwards because it's very telling on the type of energy that you guys just exchanged I feel like every time you meet with somebody it is kind of like an energy exchange and it's very very telling when you have a bad feeling when you leave somebody that's probably not a good relationship for you also I feel like step one confidence helps with this one because you slowly realize your worth and then you slowly realize like why am I letting this person make me feel like shit you just don't want to be around things people places that's gonna make you feel bad like that just shouldn't be your intention of the day like you should intend every day to be in situations and to be around people that you feel good around I used to always do so many random things or like hang out with people that I didn't even really feel fulfilled with just for the sake of like them maybe or just like oh I have a bad feeling but it will go away probably won't like your intuition is strong so step two is really about protecting yourself your space and giving yourself like just a good support system we don't need to be around people that suck basically <laughs> next thing is figuring out who your dream self even is who is your ideal version of you you can look at a lot of things when it comes to this one i feel like a lot of it has to do with like what you're passionate about what you really wanted as a child a lot of things have to do with your inner child you know i feel like ever since i was little i've always loved music and entertainment and like what industries do i want to be in music and entertainment so it's just like telling sometimes like what you were really into as a child before you know you felt judged or felt stupid or felt like you needed to be a certain way in order to impress people you know like before you're influenced in any way there was something that you really really loved so i want you to look at that maybe that's where your dream life falls also i would see who you look up to and even people that you are envious 
of because you're probably envious of them because they have something that you want that you don't have so humble yourself look at them and see why are you envious of them do they have more money than you do they have the job that you want the relationship that you want what about them is making you feel bad that's very telling going even further to like figuring out who is your dream self it can be literally anything it could be like how do you want to dress are you a person who you're sitting there like dreaming of these outfits but feeling like you could never wear them because you're insecure but do you really want to wear them that's the thing this is not a time to be like but i can't do that this is a time to really like give yourself no limits like if you had no limits who would you be you know that's what i want you to think of like how would you dress how would your hair look how would you look what would you do every day what drink would you drink in the morning like literally what is your dream life if you had no limits who would you be? And that is the new goal, I guess. And then it's just about slowly reaching those goals. The next step is where action is finally coming into play. We are just gonna say fuck it and do it. <laughs> like literally, that's my biggest advice. You literally just need to do it. Like if you're sitting there and you're like, oh my God, my dream version of myself goes out on a random Tuesday, walks to the taco place, sits there and eats tacos by herself. Maybe she even orders a margarita and has a nice time. But if that's who you wanna be and you're sitting there in your house on a Tuesday, not doing that, you need to say fuck it and just do it. Literally, that's what I did. And once you do it one time, Time, I feel like it becomes very very easy I feel like it becomes a lot easier to just keep doing it you just need that mentality of like all right I'm gonna do it and even if you feel uncomfortable that is the point you are gonna feel uncomfortable so be honest that's the next step but pause because we're not there yet <laughs> you need to push yourself and it's literally just getting yourself to do it if it takes you even if it takes you an hour and a half to walk out the door you have to you have to do it because you have to say fuck it and do it that's the next step <laughs> For example, I talked about how I am so scared to go to an event alone. Guess what? Tonight, I am going alone. Can I have my applause, please? <laughs> I mean, I like know people at the event and I know some people in the event, so I'll know people there, but I'm showing up alone. And I am a little nervous, to be honest, but it's really the fact of saying fuck it and just doing it. Not even giving myself the option to say no. I'm not gonna lie, in the past few weeks, Weeks, there's definitely been events that I've been invited to that I have not gone to but today I was like Emily you're going like that's it you're going you need to network you need to meet people you need to get out there you're going <laughs> so I am <laughs> am I nervous Yes, but I'm also excited because at this point I have been on this journey for however long and I'm ready for it It is my next step. I've done the smaller things and this is just my next step and I'm excited to conquer it And I'm telling you the more you do it the easier it gets So like literally anything like maybe it's a job interview Maybe you want to dye your hair a crazy color, but you feel uncomfortable because of where you live You gotta say fuck it and do it. <laughs> you have to just say fuck it and do it. It could be anything anything oh you want to start a business all right say fuck it and do it <laughs> obviously there are some steps you have to take before doing something sometimes especially if you don't have the money to start a business then it's more so like okay first i need to find a job that's going to fund my business then i'm gonna start my business you have to be realistic you know you can't just really 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 say fuck it to everything <laughs> you have to have a plan but it is kind of like a just you have to do it mentality okay i already said it but the next step is getting on comfortable you literally just have to do all of these things that like you dream of doing if you're sitting there and you're like i really want to become an actress are you doing anything to become an actress like are you getting uncomfortable are you putting yourself in situations that's going to further your career or further you as a person or are you just staying in your comfort zone i was staying in my little comfort zone for a very long time i was very 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 comfy but i realize now like i'm not gonna progress if i stay comfy i need to get uncomfortable i need to keep going and progress and do more and become the woman in my head manifest her make her my reality i feel like this is another one of the hard steps the first step was hard but i feel like this one is also hard because for me anything that has to do with feeling uncomfortable or anything that's like anxiety inducing is not an experience that i want to put myself in but 
I realized if I don't, I will never achieve what I want to achieve. And I'm not cool with that. I am not okay with that. I want to achieve what I want to achieve, you know? So you have to get uncomfortable. Just like me today going to this event, I am gonna be so uncomfy. You don't even know. I'm gonna be so uncomfy because I'm gonna force myself to talk to people. Say hi, how are you? <laughs> That's terrifying to me, but I'm going to do it because I have a goal. I have a dream. I know what I'm working towards. I am gonna be this woman in my head. And we are at the last step now, but I'm gonna make you wait because I'm gonna do my eyeliner first. Hee <laughs> hee. This is like my new favorite eye look. It's giving mint chocolate chip. But okay, okay, last step. Keep going even when it gets hard. This journey is not a linear journey. There is definitely days where I feel like all of my progress as a person has disappeared. There are days where I feel just like 16 year old Emily in my bed wanting to sleep away my life. And that is a reality. That is definitely a real reality that I live with. So it's kind of just about knowing that you're gonna have bad days. You have to be gentle. I feel like it's kind of just committing to yourself that like you're gonna keep going and you're gonna do this and really believing it. You have to kind of really believe that you can achieve it. And I think that all of these steps like combined help you believe it because you need confidence. You need to feel a little uncomfortable. You know, I don't think that we are really in a society where we're taught or brought up to believe that we can achieve anything. I think that there's a lot of limits set on people. So it might even feel uncomfortable to believe in yourself or to be proud of yourself. But being uncomfortable is good. So I want you to welcome that like uncomfortable feeling of being proud of yourself. But yeah, this is a continuous journey. As I said, you don't just wake up one day like feeling like that. And also as you grow and as you change and as you evolve and grow older, your dream version of yourself is going to also change and evolve. And eventually you're gonna reach your goal and guess what? You're gonna have a new dream version of yourself and then you can work towards that goal. So you'll never get bored. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've been practicing these steps almost every single day. I feel like it has been such a journey for me. As I said, there's bad days. There's days where I do not feel like I am that bitch. But it's necessary. It keeps you humble. <laughs> but with these steps and this mentality, I have achieved so much in the past month that I never thought I would achieve. I really never ever thought I would achieve so much of what I have achieved. And just like the overall way I feel about myself, like I'm not going outside stressed about how I look or how people think about me or like how people are looking at me in the street or whatever. I'm just going out for the sake of whatever I'm doing. I'm not so like concerned about other people anymore. I'm more so just like, yeah, I'm the main character. What's up? I'm the main character of my life. You should be the main character of your life. You know, don't worry about me and I'm gonna not worry about you. <laughs> That's how I kind of feel about it now. And I will say that like, just say fuck it and do it mentality has helped me a lot because it's just made me feel better about myself as a person and just about like my individuality and just figuring out like who I want to be has helped me create goals and things that I actually want to do, you know? Before I would be a little lost, I wouldn't really put much thought into like, well, what do you want to do? Who do you want to be? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? That question still, I don't like. <laughs> I don't want to think about it. But now I more so am like, all right, let me sit down and think about how am I going to be the happiest? What does my dream life mean? Sometimes you fall into like this state of like I'm content and I feel stagnant and this is just life Every day is the same. Life doesn't have to be stagnant. I realized when I feel stagnant It puts me in a bad mentality. It doesn't make me feel good I realized like life is about evolving and growing and trying new things. So yeah I've just been doing new things. A big thing for me was like career I didn't know who I wanted to be career wise. I didn't see an ideal version of me as a career woman, you know, I just didn't know. But, you know, I took time to figure it out and it's like, now I, I kinda got it. Now I'm kinda doing my thing, you know? I said this in my last video at the end, I touched on it very, very quickly, but I actually started freelancing. I got another job. I do social media marketing now for an artist from Brooklyn. But yeah, it's been so cool to 
like feel confident in myself and my work and say like I am good at what I do here hire me and somebody hired me so it's like believe in yourself like you can reach your dreams and you slowly work towards it you can't be mad that things don't change overnight you can't be mad that you don't love yourself overnight this is not an overnight journey as I said step one of self-love took me like a year it took me like a year to feel really good about myself and that was only when I intentionally started to try you know you could go years without even trying without even starting but I think just as soon as you start it's like all right we keep going and we keep seeing where this evolves to and it's like you know maybe three months ago I would have never thought that I would be willingly and excitedly going to this event alone tonight Sorry. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. I would have never thought that I was actually going to do this. Another thing I think is like, I just really started taking myself more seriously. For some reason, I just wasn't really taking myself as seriously as I should have. And it's like before I would see these people who like go to events and network and they just are very well connected. I always would be like, wow, those people are so cool. I could never, I can't, I'm too anxious, I'm too weird. I, I'm not good enough, whatever, whatever. But it's really about finding the confidence and saying fuck it and just do it. Figure out who you want to be and slowly work towards being that person. It's hard and it is a continuous journey. I can't even sit here and say I'm at the end of my journey because I know I'm not. There's a lot of things that I dream of that I have not achieved. And the journey I feel like never ends because you're always going to evolve. And you know, as you build the confidence, your dreams get bigger and your intentions and your goals get get bigger and you can be that person you can be your dream person I believe in you <laughs> if you feel like there's nobody who believes in you one believe in yourself because at the end of the day the only person you got is you and I had to learn that and truly I kind of feel that way like the only person who really 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 got me is me <laughs> but also know that I believe in you and I feel like there's a lot of really nice people out there that want other people to win you know everybody that I meet I want them to win I want them to achieve their dreams and I want them to unlock their full potential this is about unlocking your full potential your dream person is in there you just have to let them out you are a caterpillar you need to cocoon and become a butterfly <laughs> that's it that's literally it why did it take me the whole video to think about that <laughs> we have to get to butterfly I don't think I think I'm at butterfly yet. I think I'm in my cocoon. I'm getting ready. I'm just getting started. <laughs> butterfly will come soon though. I'm feeling it, but I'm not there yet, but she'll come. But our goal should always be butterfly. Always be the dream version of yourself. And yeah, that's all I really have to say for this video. <laughs> it was a lot of talking. I also plan to do a Q&A portion at the end, but this video got too long. So tell me if you want a part two where I answer your questions about this subject. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't think I was gonna talk for this long. <laughs> but yes, everybody has the opportunity to work towards Towards their dreams. I believe in you guys. I hope that you believe in me. I'm sending you guys good vibes, so I I expect the good vibes back. I mean, you shouldn't give to expect something back, but like if I'm giving you guys the good vibes, you better give me the good vibes back. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and always coming along on my life journey. Oh, and thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I will be putting my link and everything down below. Thank you guys so much for supporting me in everything that I do, and I love you guys so much. I'm sending you so much love. <laughs>